are the awesome tutor and today we're going to be looking at the purification of copper. When we extract copper from ores, it's 99% pure most of the time. We want it to be 100% pure. Why is that 1% of impurities so important that we remove it? Why is it so important that we remove the impurities and make it 100% pure? Because that 1% of impurities in the copper Remember, we use copper as wires a lot. So it's going to create a lot of resistance. And that's going to give us heat. And so the wire will not be very effective. So we want it to be 100% pure. We do this by a process called electrolysis. Okay, so here is the diagram. Here we have the power. Here we have the anode. The anode is the positive. The cathode is the negative electrode. The anode is positive, cathode is negative. You have to remember that. Okay? An A is good, a C is bad. Okay, remember it like that. So, at the anode we have our impure copper. And the copper dissolves here. Uh, the cathode is where the pure copper is formed. The copper is plated here. And here in the container, we have our electrolyte. Our electrolyte in this case is going to be copper sulfate. But copper sulfate solution. Why? Okay. The ions have to be free to move. For electrolysis to take place, the ions have to be free to move. And that only happens if the electrolyte is in solution or it is molten. Copper sulfate is um, soluble, so we use a solution. And so the ions are free to move. And now we're going to look at the equations and what happens during electrolysis at the anode and at the cathode. Okay, so at the anode. Remember the anode is the positive electrode. Now the battery or any electrical power that's, that's um, added in electrolysis is going to pull the electrons off the copper atoms. And because the electrons have been pulled off, pulled off um, the copper atoms will now become copper ions. And in this case, the ion is Cu2 plus with a, a positive 2 charge because two electrons have been pulled off from it. And the impurities from the, um, uh, from the anode, remember anode is the, where the impure copper dissolves away. The impurities just sink to the bottom and this is known as anode sludge. And actually in this anode sludge, is very useful materials such as gold, platinum, silver, etc. Uh, the, the anode sludge is actually can be worth more money than the copper you're getting from the electrolysis. So, as the um, copper atoms form copper ions, the anode slowly dissolves away. Here is the half equation, the, the ionic equation. So the copper atoms solid, then become copper ions, Cu2+, plus, aqueous, that means in solution. Remember, the ions have to move for electrolysis to work. And two electrons, because two electrons have been removed from the copper, so now it is Cu2+, plus. two plus, two electrons. They cancel each other out. So that's how you know the uh, ion, and that's how you know the amount of electrons. Of course, you can also check in your data sheet what the copper ion is, because they, they will always give you a data sheet. And now on to the cathode. Okay, so at the cathode. Remember, the cathode is negative. And you should note there that opposite charges attract. Because the copper ions are positive. Remember, the copper ions came from the anode. Then the cathode is negative. Positive and negative attract. So opposite charges attract. And therefore... This makes the copper ions move towards the cathode. And at the cathode, 
the copper ions gain electrons. They gain electrons from the cathode. And because they gain electrons from the cathode, the, it's going to become from a copper ion to a copper atom. And here is the ionic equation. So the copper ions from the uh, anode are going to um, gain two electrons from the cathode to form copper uh, uh, atoms. And that's how electrolysis of copper works. So because the, um, you're going to form copper at the cathode, the cathode is going to get thicker and thicker and thicker because copper is going to be plated there. Whereas the anode, where it's dissolving, it's going to get thinner and thinner and thinner. And that is the electrolysis of copper. Bye.